greetings from Ames, New Delhi. Madam has already spoken about the transformation which is happening in the India through the Ministry of Health, Government of India, and the initiatives which have been taken from our ministry. Uh, to complement that, we were going through what is the transformations which have happened recently at Ames, New Delhi. That's what we were uh, going through. Well, this is the big numbers. If you look into that, we are almost 4,000 bedded hospital, and we are adding 1,000 more uh, through one more institution now. Look into those numbers, you know, the general beds of 2,500, ICU almost to the tune of 500, private ward beds almost to the tune of uh, 400 now, and the footfall which we have at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, 5 million patients per year, a number of IPDs which almost goes to 3.5 lakhs per year, number of surgeries again, 3 lakhs almost in a year, operation theatres to the tune of 150 or so, and then of course the support through the hostels and uh, the various accommodations which we have. Now what is that which we have uh, done recently, the objective uh, initiatives which have come through, the transformation which has happened through. I'm just going through how we have looked into the patient care services, the teaching learning experiences, research innovation experiences, and a bit of good governance and transparency which has been put in the institution now. As far as expanding health services, you know that you know, we have a huge workload, and our waiting list in some of the departments almost ends up in two years sometimes, which is very unfortunate, but you know, uh, everybody comes to us, and Madam made it very clear that now, with the addition of the 22 AIMS, our burden is going to uh, decrease, which is definitely going to happen, and uh, that's where I was talking about how we have done our own internal audits and bring a change so that we can take care of those huge workload which we had. Recently, we have added up a mother and child block and a surgical block as separate and National Center for Aging, again a center which is a national importance, 200 beds, and a new private ward, adding up to almost increase in 40 to 50 percent of our services with respect to the critical areas like private ward and operation theaters and ICU. We did have 24-7 diagnostic services. We have made all the areas in the institution 24-7 which has again increased our uh, services to the tune of 15%. And then Madam Sp say, uh, talked about Amrit and the Janavji Kendras. Uh, they have been put in our institution so that affordable medicine is available to all the needy people uh, in the institution. Madam gave a brief about how PMJ is revolutionizing and transforming the India's healthcare, especially helping the poor patients and decreasing the out-of-pocket uh, expenditure of the patients. We are number one. We are number one on the ABA IDs, which have been created in, the, in India. And so far, we have treated almost 30,000 patients under the PMJ scheme. And uh, there, there is going to be another Jan Aushdi Kendra uh, shortly in a few days from the Honorable Prime Minister in our institution. We are today online OPD registration and consultation, which made uh, very easy for us. And there has been, for the patients who need to pay for uh, beyond a limit, because the registration is free for our patients. Anything which costs the diagnostics and other things which are less than 300 rupees is free of cost for everybody in this institution. Only when they are going through implants or something which they are not covered by the PMJ, they need to pay and then we made totally cashless uh, services at All Indians Medical Sciences. Intra-hospital transportation through the e-vehicles has also come a big way because there was an issue with the pollution because we are scattered in a campus of 100 plus acres with the various centers within the campus. So we have brought this intra-hospital transportation within this thing, added up the child-friendly uh, spaces also. And we have given a lot of importance now focusing on where do the patients stand, sit, and then uh, keep those waiting lounges and everything, and remove the, the middlemen and other things in the institutions, which happens a problem in some of the government institutions in our country. And the, the biggest thing which we have brought today is, uh, you may be surprised that even in the government institutions, we are looking at a dynamic way about the patient prevents redressal system. An online portal has been put where the patient can QR code wherever he is, and then he can give his SMS, audio, video, uh, whatever the grievances and the feedback which we have, which goes in a live dashboard and then it escalates at various levels if it is not uh, taken care. 
Today, we are e-ICU, and our ICUs are totally e-emergency uh, medicine services, which are totally paperless. And when we have put the triage registry for emergency department, those who have time, I think it's worth visiting our uh, uh, trauma centers and emergency services. How do we handle a huge number of population? You know, we get almost 700 to 800 patients in our emergency department. And then how do we triage and then how do we take care of them and with the priority is something which we need, really need to see it. And then we have become a model. You know, most of the state governments have asked us to train in the emergency medicine and the trauma services. And then we are doing this for the other people. Though we had uh, many banks, an addition of the skin bank has been added up. Uh, with respect to accreditation, you know, it was unheard of in the government institutions that we go for NABL, NABH, JCI. We are on the job. Some of the uh, blocks have already been uh, accredited uh, in the institution. And then we are focusing on the patient safety as well through the various initiatives which we come. In addition to that, there are people who want to uh, help us through the corporate social responsibilities. We have had uh, almost to the tune of 150 crores in the last year wherein we have utilized this for patient wellness and the patient uh, uh, welfare and the experiences areas so that we can complement with the government uh, money and the services which we offer to the people. With respect to the research, again, uh, we have a huge number of uh, publications to the tune of 4,000, which comes through the institution in a year. And uh, we have looked into a uh, centralized research facility where all the department, all the specialities can come together and then do 24-7 research, whatever they want. And we have a clinical, central clinical research unit at this moment, and then a center for medical innovation and entrepreneurship. Because some of you were talking about Make in India concept and everything, bringing back the technology from abroad, helping our industry within the institution, uh, inspiring the students, incubation, entrepreneurship, and everything is going through our Center for uh, Medical Innovation and Entrepreneurship. AI has been added up. Uh, most of our departments have already embarked on that. Uh, many projects are going through the AI ML in our institution. And I'm very happy to share that the Government of India has identified our institution as Center of Excellence for Healthcare AI. The money which they are putting up is almost to the tune of 1,000 crores. I guess that 300, one third of that, 300 crores, is going to come to the AIMS and the IIT Delhi. We will be working together and then uh, working on uh, bringing the AI and the ML into the healthcare uh, uh, services. In the teaching and learning, the most important thing I wanted to share with you today, we have all the platforms of robotic surgery in our wet lab and uh, our dry labs in addition to our operation theaters. This is something which is first of its kind in the country where all the robotic systems of the world are available for the teaching and learning experience for our residents and the doctors. And we have uh, had an MOU with the Defense Ministry and then going into high altitude medicine and space medicine training and uh, the uh, MD courses are also getting start. Pollution is a big issue in Delhi, and then we are conscious about the number of vehicles which would have visited us institution. So we are focusing on clean and green aims. Uh, E-vehicles have been given, uh, almost to the tune of 30 to 40 have been given by State Bank of India. They have been put into the institution for uh, taking care of our doctors and the patient needs in the institutions. We have added up additional 1,000 trees, and we are planning to have almost 10,000 trees in various of campuses. We are at various campuses, not only in Delhi, but also at Jajar, which is 30 miles from here in the main campus. We have introduced the bicycles and the e-vehicles in the, within institutions, and we have banned the single-use plastics and promoting the environment-friendly initiatives in this. I just wanted to share with you the sustainability also has become an important issue for us. There has been various partners through the, con the contributions of the CSR, which we have put in. Digital transformation in the governance has been uh, very much focused for us. And uh, today you can see that the entire administration in this institution, it's a big institution. You see, we deal with a budget of almost, the main aims deals with 4,000 plus crores in a year. So we are e-office implementation has been 100% here. Today, all the files within my office and the administration is totally digital format, you know. So there's something which we wanted to share with you. And the digital procurement, today everything is connected right from the indents to the procurement and the payment in a digital platform has been made. And then we have integrated these procurement modules with our HR modules and the, uh, the finance module also so that it becomes 360 degrees and gives to transparency uh, in addition to whatever the good governance measures we have taken it. AI has come in a big way and in fact uh, after the Calcutta incident we are planning to introduce AI enabled systems con in the entire institution for access control, surveillance and beyond. You know, This is something which we have come through in addition to whatever the AI which we have told that uh, the departments were carrying out with respect to doing the various uh, initiatives which were this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, 
uh, we are ranked number one as NIRF rankings, and even the week also puts us number one. In addition to those rankings which we have, my request to you is that because you say that journalism with the human touch, I think somewhere we need to rank these institutions and services through sympathy, empathy, and the, you know, the care which we give it. I think this is a good time. The we should take this initiative and then come out with a ranking that how do the hospitals deal with these kind of initiatives as well. Thank you very much.